Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today, I, our group, which is uh, Azalia, Karunisa, and me, Amir Adina, will present about Hijaz Kasturi and also the building, which is the Kasturi Resort. So, first of all, I will present about the profile of our famous Malaysian architect, which is Hijaz Kasturi. Hijaz Kasturi was born on 26 September on 1933. He works as an architect and has a company named Hijaz Kasturi Associates Civil Democrat. He is still active since 1937 until now. He has been responsible for some of the most significant buildings in Southeast Asia in the modern, postmodern, and deconstructivism style. He is considered as the father of Malaysian architecture of, uh, of the second half of the 20th century. Uh, the concept the concept for this sculpture is modernist and geometry. Okay, design and statement point to him as a hardcore modernism, modernist and geometry. The element that we use in this sculpture is line, shape and form, which is triangle. While the principle of design that we apply in this sculpture are symmetry and repetition. So, for this sculpture, we still stick with the concept of the Kasturi Resort which is Malaysian traditional house. We still apply the pinch roof and overhanging roof in the structure of the Kasturi Resort into our sculpture. Hello, my name is Karinisa. So, first of all, this is our design idea that we presented last Wednesday. In fact, for this design, we wanted to show the design principles we got from uh, the repeated and symmetrical the resort building. In addition, we use the line and shapes of the elements and apply them in our design, which is this. So, for the design process, we start with um, triangle. Then, we rotate it to 90 degrees and then we multiply it. Then we intersect around 8 triangular planes to create this shape. Also taken from the concept of the building itself, we use the mirror method like this. So, for our next design idea, we did a more detailed research about Hijaz philosophy. We found that he applied the traditional elements of Malay heritage that we can see, for example, in the Maybank Tower, he used the metaphor of the shape of a dagger. So, for this design, for this second design, we took the tradition of Malay heritage, which is, which is Tangkolo. This is because of the triangular shape of the head itself, like this. Thank you. Hi, my name is Irina Azalia and I will continue our presentation by presenting our second and third design idea. So for our second design idea, we try to add the concept of Malaysian traditional culture to represent Hijaz style, which we apply the Tengkolo design as you can see from the picture. So from the Tengkolo design, we try to get the shape and the way uh, the curves from the Tokolo and we try to apply it in our uh, model. So actually, for our second design idea, we try to copy the shape of the Tokolo and we uh, try to represent in our design, which is first, as you can see, there's a hole in the middle uh, of the structure, which we try to represent the space uh, of the head to go through and then you can see that from the front view we try to show the um, the overhang of the roof from the building uh, the Castellary Resort which also uh, shown by the architect Hijaz Kasturi. So if you notice, from our second design idea, the sculpture we try to show the curve we try to make the plane to go upward. So actually the reason why we try to make the sculpture to go to curve upward from the tengkolo itself, you can see that there's a upward curve. So that there is actually the place where 
human put on their head. So for the third design idea, uh, we actually try to improve from the second design, which as you can see, it is more tall. It is taller than the second one. And also for the third design idea, we also apply the same principle of design uh, like the previous idea, which is uh, symmetry, balance symmetry and uh, repetition. For the repetition uh, principle, you can see that uh, we repeat the planes, the triangle planes, and then we intersect uh, with each other to create the shape, to create the sculpture, to make it more rounder and bigger and taller. For the principle of design balance symmetry, we use the same view such as second design idea, which is we try to make our sculpture look symmetry from top, front and rear. However, uh, there must be a difference between a uh, second design idea and our third design idea. Uh, well, obviously, first, uh, as I said before, the difference is first, the second one, it is more flattered and the third one, it is uh, more rounder. The second one, uh, the base uh, is more to the ground while the third design idea is pointy. You can see from the front and the rear view. The difference uh, between Next, our second design idea, it is look like, it is look more like uh, he just a uh, roof which there's uh, like two shapes uh, as you can see from the top and then you can see that there's uh, another one which is the base while our third design idea we actually pull the front to make it more centered over here as you can see before this roof it is pointed to the front but for our second we try to make it uh, we try to push it backward because actually uh, the front the pointy the bigger one over here uh, we try to show that uh, the application of big massive roof so for this part we make the plane to look uh, more bigger than the other planes so yeah thank you for listening